So YouTube family, I know y'all are tired of seeing this man's name in the algorithm. I know this, and trust me, man, I make every attempt to make content that does not involve WAC 100, but every day, it seems as though he goes on Clubhouse and drops another bombshell. Now, this time, YouTube family, WAC 100 says something so outlandish, so crazy, that it either gotta be true or Wack is on that powder, man. Now, as y'all already know, Wack 100 and Jay Prince have been going back and forth for every bit of two years. And just a few days ago, Wack 100 went on Clubhouse and said that since he exposed that Jay Prince Jr. was using trick dice the night the takeoff was killed. And not only that, it's alleged by WAC 100 that he has insider information concerning Jay Prince and his family, and the insider just so happens to be a blood relative. According to WAC 100 and the information that he received, Jay Prince Jr. frequently used trick dice while hosting gambling parties. Now, I'm warning y'all now, the insert that I'm about to play from WAC 100 is 14 minutes long. Being that WAC does all of his talking on Clubhouse, this will be an insert from Clubhouse. I've seen a lot of people in the comment section last time saying, hey, why are you playing insert from Clubhouse? That's the place where you hear this explosive information for WAC 100. By the time it hit YouTube, it had already been played out. Oh, in this insert that I'm about to play, WAC 100 says that the mother of James Prince house was shot up a couple days ago in Fifth Ward of Houston, Texas. So with no further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and let WAC 100 tell y'all the information that he received, and we gonna play the content. I'm gonna roll the audio and I'm gonna let y'all hear it. Oh, so I guess the streets of Houston is losing respect for Jay Prince. They shot his mama house up last night in Fifth Ward. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. What up, mama Shit. house got shot up in Fifth Ward, so they losing respect. That's breaking for news. Like a another thing, like <clears throat> another thing, another update over there is since I released the information of the loaded dice crew with Jay Prince Jr., that whole block over there been shut down. No motion. Man said, there's a lot of niggas in the hood mad about them loaded dice you exposed. Gambling shack in the barber shop has no action. I said, so I slow, I said, so we slowed down, slowed that down. He said, stop the whole operation. Ain't no action on Liberty Road when it comes to gambling. That's dead. My people told me it was like when G Money had to shut down the corner on New Jack City. He said they shot his mama house up last night in Fifth Ward. They trying to keep it under the wraps. They shot his mama house up. People was mad that J. Prince Jr. got the boy Mikey Mike from running his mouth. He said a lot of shit is going the other way on him. They, all the exposing on him is starting to show people he ain't who they thought he was. Yeah, this nigga sent me the whole book on why I do got... Now that's nasty work. Oh, no, nah, yeah, they shot his ground. They shot, that's his mama. It says, mama, old, still living in Fifth Ward. Shot her shit up last night. So that mean that city losing respect. You know what's next. They gonna try him. They say his son and went, and went to Florida since the loaded dice. Niggas is mad. You know how many niggas then lost a bunch of money around that, behind that loaded dice? He said, whack, they just wasn't doing it with the celebrities. Nigga, when it was regular day motion, they was doing it at the gambling shack. The same three niggas was passing the dice, hitting them niggas, and niggas is upset. You know how many niggas lost their rent money, mortgage money, car money, all kind of shit. He said, niggas is mad at them. There's bad work going on. Y'all will be mad as a He said, man, city ain't been the same. J. Prince Jr. damn near moved to Miami, ain't been back since you, since you started to expose him. He said, think about how many regular street niggas that took losses at the gambling shack with them loaded dice. Niggas lost their house deeds, all type of shit in them. All I know is them niggas was utilizing their influence, nigga, to bait the celebrities that came into town and then take them through there and get them hit with the loaded dice. J. Prince Jr. get keep it 30% of the cut. And then turn around and charge them for security because they was moving around the city. The line that was real. So he double dipping on them. He triple dipping. Yep. yep. Spending your budget money. And then turn around money. and ask the artist for a free verse. So you spending their budget money. You you they buying security from you and you tapping them in the head when they hit the dice game. Yeah, them, them Houston niggas, bro. They might have been naive, but bro, they shot dude mama house up last night. They shot Jay Prince mama house up last night. So that's Junior's grandmama. Damn. 
That's bad work right there, bro. That shit, that that right there, that turned into something else. You know what that, like you said, why? You know what come next? But this supposed to be, this supposed to be the boogeyman. How the boogeyman, Mama House, get shot up? They hit me at yeah. seven fifteen a.m. They said they whack what it's worth for the inside scoop of J Prince Grandmama House, no, J Prince Junior Grandmama's house, which is J Prince's mama house, got shot up last night. They spun the block three times in Fifth Ward last night. They're gonna try to keep it on, keep it quiet, like they did Junior's loud mouth getting Mikey Mikey. I got all the info on it too, firsthand. It hit me 7:50 a.m. this morning. Hey Guap, here, here go the crazy part. They just shot it up. That's the message. They really wanted to do Sunday to win in that. They just sent that message real quick. Let you know we on your bumper. Now, I don't listen, bro. A lot of shit going on. The nigga say you want to start this relationship with the details of last night's shootings in his own hood. All fast cars, make sure we don't do I, can have your I cannot you fucking up. believe we got a at the house he had custom built for his grandmother, and now his aunt, and uncles live at since the granny passed away. Shooting happened last night. These niggas is all inside they circle sending me the content all of them but he said niggas is upset niggas is angry niggas felt like it's a misrepresentation of the city he got in the city saying yo this nigga got us looking to everybody else like we scared he said how do we looking scared and he looking like the biggest the giant but that ain't the case now niggas robbing us and hitting us with loaded dice he said these niggas is rebelling. He said them niggas got picked up, 88 people whacked. You came on Clubhouse and said, yo, a Boju, she overheard Jay Prince Jr. talking on the phone, talking about between 80 and 100 people finna get swept. Heard the nigga get on the phone, called his man, told him stay out the way. I just got a call for them people. He said whack the next day, nigga, it went down. Everybody heard you, bro. The next day, the sweep happened. 88 people got picked up. He said it, it already been speculations on playing both sides. Shit getting ugly out there, but I don't know. Where old broccolini at? Yeah, shit getting ugly. Niggas start doing that. Niggas start doing that. This is lack of respect. Shit crazy. Rock say in a meeting. I was in here. I heard what you were saying. Shit starting to go the other way, bro. Nah, I heard what you were saying. That shit crazy, bro. I don't, you know, I ain't. Oh, nah, like five people. Like my hater. I got a hater on here. That's Jay Prince's uh family. He listens to us, but he just texts me. And, you know, he'll correct me or he'll be like, nah, you on point with that here. That nigga was like, yo, whack. First of all, he said, that nigga on your stage from Houston must have told you that because that shit just happened. I said, that nigga ain't told me. Matter of fact, he go to the screenshot for where it came from. I had to sit in the screenshot, bro, because I didn't want him to be trying to put it on you. Like, I said, Brock ain't told me. I'm a dang nigga here. He looked at it. I said, look. There go that. Look, he sent me a picture of J. Prince Jr. Mama. They say she a dope fiend. There go that. There go this. I said, I ain't even read this story because I'm letting this breathe with the Mikey Mike shit. Here go the whole story on how it happened. A to Z from the club to the bitch to the this. Who gripped up this, this, that. I see a nigga say, yeah, whack. He said, my family got a back door for sure. But the fact that they shot that nigga Mama house, he said, them niggas is mad at them loaded dice. He said, the whole gambling shit over there on that street been shut down ever since I exposed Loaded dice said niggas is upset. Calling it in, they said Junior didn't damn near move to Miami. He ain't been back. The niggas is upset, but the fact that a nigga would do that to his mama house, that shows that niggas is is going the other way. Cause I would have never thought a nigga would have played with him like that. Not in Fifth War. Not yeah, I the, ain't heard that. Yeah. I ain't heard that yet. I ain't gonna lie. This is the first time I'm ever. Hearing it's that. a lot of shit you don't hear until I say it and then you hear it. Yeah. That I'm way, gonna tell you what he crazy. gotta watch out for though. The fans will play a dirty game. <laughs> the feds allow a motherfucker to do something like that just to see what he gonna do. To retaliate, to try to get your ass to... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that Dang. shit right there, I'm gonna be real. I would've bet against a nigga would ever play with him like that down there. That's why I said I ain't never... I That's why I sound crazy. It. So I'm good. sitting back thinking about it. I said, yo, what would make this happen? I think a nigga would go at him first before they went and did that and fear that he gonna figure it out. 
That's why I say, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if them people then pass something done to see what he's... Because first thing a nigga going to do is whoever he got them type of issues, where they going to retaliate on that so they know what to watch. If they on the wiretap, they know him and this nigga here been getting into it about some business or whatever, and then all of a sudden this happened, a nigga more than likely going to go at that. So had this happen and watch that individual to see what he do. And it's some bullshit, though. I don't condone this nigga's mama houses. That ain't gay. Nah. What's up with you and Jay Prince again? Why y'all beefing still? What? What you mean? Oh no, I just been. I, you know me. I it don't. I shut down their little cabinet ring down there. Told everybody, but they got loaded dice. They mad. No. The city, the city tripping now. Niggas is thinking about the rent money and mortgage money and shit they lost. Niggas is on the run, on the move down there tripping up houses and shit. You know, basically. Oh, wow. They reaching out, come on. Like, you know, you ain't had no business to slip the <laughs> What? How good of you? What happened with Slim Tuck? Wait, you did something else, I tell you. No, I told him, I don't know if that's a subliminal. Slim Thug, I f*** with you, but if you talking to me and you mention my name, I'm going to expose your ass. That's all I told him. I mentioned one name, he know what's going on. I'm all in a minute. Listen, them people got too many people around them. If I send you some right now, you'll lose your mind. That nigga said, whack on, we ride up under this, and we ain't eating. We got all this, here go this, here go that, here go this. <laughs> How they think I, that's what's driving them crazy. Cause I know this shit when it happened, when it's going on, I know right when it happened. So they, they over there going nuts. I came on there, I said, yo, just told me, whack, I fucked with this J. Pierce Jr. He was on the phone. I heard him talking to somebody, talking about 80 to 100 people, okay, cool. He called one of his homies and said, stay from over there. Them folks going to come through there and sweep 80 to 100 people. The next day, niggas hit my room and said, whack. They just picked up 88 people, my nigga, in Fifth Ward in the whole area. I don't know you do that. I said, was in the hotel room with him. She, she told me. So they just, you know, they didn't play with the wrong I keep telling niggas. YouTube is my biggest reach. As soon as they hear me getting into it with it, every nigga don't like you, every nigga got a problem with you, got some issues with you, they send it to me. They shall do. That's why I would be like, how he be knowing? Because your people send it, you stupid. Watch this. The internet, one of the greatest damn weapons that oh, anybody yes. can have. Look at this right here. This one just came today. Train this out. This how scandalous these niggas is over there, boy. Them niggas think they shit tight. That nigga said, I'm his family right up under this nigga. I send you everything. I'm just starving and broke. <laughs> what? I'm finna send it to you. They shot the nigga on my house up last night. When I said that, he said, No. That up. Them niggas like, how the fuck know that? Said, nigga, they just got you. I was up in fifth world. She 104 years old. That's good. They ain't respecting you. That's it. Train, look at what I just said. You sure ain't lying because my cousin lived yeah. right around the corner from that you, night. That motherfucker up last night spun the block three times on it, didn't you? Just hit it once. Look at that, what I just sent you, Train. I want to see. <laughs> Throw a dog a ball. <laughs> This crazy. He said it to you, Nisha. <laughs> yeah. It say I'm about to say I would just say that wrong. Is that bad work or what? That's bad work. <laughs> that throw a dog a ball who sent me. <laughs> huh? What what do I get? I ain't asking for but throw a dog a ball. And you get the info and I'm I'm a text away with Anything happens, or anything you need to know, I'm his blood relative. If he don't do shit for this side of the family, I'm with him two, three days out of the week. I have full access, pictures, videos, inside info before anyone. And the niggas, he didn't shit me all, only info. So I know he what he is. 
<clears throat> Here you go. This is next move. This, they they got the loaded dice. They bring the artists in town, do security, take them to shoot the dice, hit them with the loaded dice, get 30%. These are three niggas they use. I just shut his whole operation down, playing with him old clown. He mad over there. You looking at it. I got 50 of them type of niggas everywhere. Whoever feed the people, lead the people. You got this, man. How you got it? <laughs> I'm whack. I'm the, I'm what Man, YouTube family, bro. If it's any truth to what Wack 100 is saying, then Jay Prince 100% has a mole inside of his operation. But I just don't understand what these people think they're going to get out of Wack 100 by providing him with this type of information. But on another hand, something is telling me the WAC 100 is full of shit, and this is just all Jedi mind tricks. Cause ain't no way, there is no way that Jay Prince's mom house was shot up and I didn't hear an explosion. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I say something ain't adding up, man. Something ain't adding up. But again, I think it's really strange that WAC 100 gets his hands on this type of information, and it seems like it's on a daily basis. Right, regardless of how people feel about WAC 100, one thing that we can all say for sure, he show sure is entertaining. But how much is entertainment and how much is actually real life? Saying that somebody mama house got shot up, nah, 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 scratch that. Hearing that somebody mama house got shot up and knowing that they trying to keep it under wraps and you come to the internet and talk about it, say, man, that's, hey, that's police activity. But nevertheless, man, don't kill the messenger. I am just a messenger, man. And as always, YouTube family, we're going to sit up there and stay down until we come up together, man. That's just the law. And uh, it seems like WAC 100 is just playing Jedi mind tricks, bro. I don't understand how people still allow WAC 100 to manipulate them to believe that he's telling the truth. Disclaimer, I do not think WAC 100 is telling the truth. This man is full of it. But anyways, YouTube family, y'all already know, man. Uh, shit, I'm gone. Yeah, I'm the man of the hey. Yeah. I'm pippin' like I'm done one I'ma stop at the store, sell me an onion Go and get some backwoods in the back of Funyun Let a nigga play me sweet and he gon' meet the honey bun I ain't ride with it unless he got a hundred round drum Hit that nigga with the drink, he gon' butt up out I'm bum Hit her with the daddy stroke, I got the little baby sprung Gotta keep that thing on you coming from where I'm from Gotta keep that thing on you when you coming from the bird I be juggin' and finessin', got that boy and got that girl She be movin' up the ladder, cause the pimpin' in the world 